The essential nature of bondage is nothing other than desire and its elimination is known as liberation. It is simply by not being attached to changing things that the everlasting joy of attainment is reached. You are one, conscious and pure, while all this is just inert non-being. Ignorance itself is nothing, so what need have you of desire to understand? Kings, kingdoms, children, wives, bodies, pleasures, these have all been lost to you life after life, attached to them though you are. Enough of wealth, sensuality and good deeds. In the forest of samsar, the mind has never found satisfaction in these. How many births have you not done hard and painful labor with the body, mind and speech? Now at last stop. Ashtvakri said, unmoved and undistressed, realizing now that being, non-being and transformation are of the very nature of things, one easily finds peace. At peace, having shed all desires within and realizing that nothing exists here but the Lord, the creator of all things, one is no longer attached to anything. Realizing that misfortune and fortune come in their turn from fate, one is contented, one's senses under control and one does not like or dislike. Realizing that pleasure and pain, birth and death are from fate and that one's desires cannot be achieved, one remains inactive and even when acting does not get attached. Realizing that suffering arises from nothing other than thinking, dropping all desires, one rids oneself of it and is happy and at peace everywhere. Realizing I am not the body nor is the body mine, I am awareness, one attains the supreme state and no longer fritters over things done or undone. Realizing it is just me from Brahma down to the last blade of grass, one becomes free from uncertainty, pure at peace and unconcerned about what has been attained or not. Realizing that all this varied and wonderful world is nothing, one becomes pure receptivity, free from inclinations, and as if nothing existed, one finds peace. Janak said, First of all, I was averse to physical activity, then to lengthy speech, and finally to thinking, my, thinking itself, which is why I am now established. In the absence of delight in sound and the other senses, and by the fact that I myself am not an object of the senses, my mind is focused and free from distraction, which is why I am now established. Owing to the distraction of such things as wrong identification, one is driven to strive for mental stillness. Recognizing this pattern, I am now established. By relinquishing the sense of rejection and acceptance, and with pleasure and disappointment ceasing today, so Brahmin, I am now established. Life in a community, then going beyond such a state, meditation, and the elimination of mind-made objects by means of these, I have seen my error, and I am now established. Just as the performance of actions is due to ignorance, so their abandonment is too. By fully recognizing this truth, I am now established. Trying to think the unthinkable is unnatural to thought. Abandoning such a practice, therefore, I am now established. He who has achieved this has achieved the goal of life. He who is of such a nature has done what has to be done. Janak said, The inner freedom of having nothing is hard to achieve, even with just a loincloth. But I live as I please, abandoning both renunciation and acquisition. Sometimes one experiences distress because of one's body, sometimes because of one's tongue, and sometimes because of one's mind. Abandoning all of these in the goal of being human, I live as I please. Recognizing that in reality no action is ever committed, I live as I please, just attending what presents itself to be done. Mystics who identify themselves with bodies are insistent on fulfilling and avoiding certain actions, but I live as I please, abandoning attachment and rejection. No benefit or loss comes to me by standing, walking or lying down, so consequently I live as I please whether standing, walking or sleeping. I lose nothing by sleeping and gain nothing by effort, so consequently I live as I please, abandoning loss and success. Frequently observing the drawbacks of such things as pleasant objects, I live as I please, abandoning the pleasant and unpleasant. Janak said, He who by nature is empty-minded and who thinks of things only unintentionally is freed from deliberate remembering, like one awakened from a dream. 
as my desire has been eliminated i have no wealth friends robbers senses scriptures or knowledge realizing my supreme self nature in the person of the witness the lord and the state of desirelessness in bondage or liberation i feel no inclination for liberation the various states of one who is empty of uncertainty within and who outwardly wanders about as he pleases like a madman can only be known by someone in the same condition ashtavakra said while a person of pure intelligence may achieve the goal by the most casual of instructions another may seek knowledge all one's life and still remain bewildered liberation is indifference to the objects of the senses bondage is love of the senses this is knowledge now do as you please this awareness of the truth makes an eloquent clever and energetic person dumb stupid and lazy so it is avoided by those whose aim is enjoyment or praise you are not the body nor is the body yours nor are you the doer of actions nor the reaper of their consequences you are eternally pure consciousness the witness in need of nothing so live happily desire and anger are objects of the mind but the mind is not yours nor ever has been you are choiceless awareness itself unchanging so live happily recognizing oneself in all beings and all beings in oneself be happy free from the sense of responsibility and free from preoccupation with me your nature is the consciousness in which the whole world wells up like waves in the sea that is what you are without any doubt so be free of disturbance have faith my dearest have faith don't let yourself be deluded in this you are yourself the lord whose property is knowledge you are beyond natural causation the body invested with the senses stands still and comes and goes you yourself neither come nor go so why bother about them let the body last to the end of the age or let it come to an end right now what have you who consist of pure consciousness gained or lost let the world wave rise or subside according to its own nature in you the great ocean it is no gain or loss to you my dearest you consist of pure consciousness and the world is not separate from you so who is to accept or reject it and how and why how can there be either birth karma or responsibility in that one unchanging peaceful unblemished and infinite consciousness which is you whatever you see it is you alone manifest in it how could bracelets armlets and anklets be different from the gold giving up such distinctions as that is what i am and i am not that recognize that everything is self and be without distinction and be happy it is through your ignorance that all this exists in reality you alone exist apart from you there is no one within or beyond samsar knowing that all this is an illusion one becomes free of desire pure receptivity and at peace as if nothing existed only one thing has existed exists and will exist in the ocean of being you have no bondage or liberation live happily and fulfilled being pure consciousness do not disturb your mind with thoughts of for or against be at peace and remain happily in yourself the essence of joy give up meditation completely and cling to nothing in your mind you are free in your very nature so what will you achieve by conceiving ashtavakra said my dearest you may recite or listen to countless scriptures but you will not be established within until you can forget everything you may as a learned man indulge in wealth activity and meditation but your mind will still long for that which is the cessation of desire beyond all goals everyone is in pain because of their own effort but no one realizes it by just this very instruction the lucky one attains tranquility happiness belongs to no one but that supremely lazy person for whom even opening and closing one's eyes is a bother when the mind is free from such pairs of opposites as i have done this and i have not done that it becomes indifferent to merit wealth sensuality and liberation